Hello everyone, I'm Amit from Mail Smartly. Today in this video, you will learn how to change the default duration of meeting and appointment in Microsoft Out. Look, as a disclosure, I am currently using Office 365. So if you create a new appointment or a new meeting, you will see the basic duration of the start and the end time is 30 minutes. Let's check out. I have opened the appointment and you can see the basic duration is 30 minutes. You can extend the duration manually. There is no problem. But in case you want to create multiple appointments or multiple meetings and you don't want to change it manually, you can do that or you can change the backend settings very easily. So for that, Click on the file tab available on the top left corner of your screen. In the option section from the left navigation section, click here. That will open the Outlook Options dialog box. Again, from the left area, you will get few options here. You have to select calendar. That will open few other options on the right side. In the calendar options, you will see there is an option default duration for new appointment and meetings which is 30 minutes. By default, it's 30 minutes. Now you can very easily change it to one hour, 1 1.5 hour and two hours. There are only four options available here. So whenever you change the setting from here, that will automatically reflect when you create a new appointment or meeting. So let's take two hours, click OK. Once again, I click on the Home tab, click on New Items. Here I can see appointment and meeting both. I click on appointment. Now see, my default duration automatically changes to two hours. Let's see on the meeting also. So again, I click on new items, click on meeting. And here also, you can see 8.30 to 10.30. That way, you can change your default meeting and appointment duration gap very easily in Microsoft Outlook. If you have learned something new from this video, please like and subscribe my YouTube channel. And please don't forget to click on the bell icon so you will never miss out any Outlook tips and problem solvers videos I come up with. Thank you and have a